are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world, so if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Adrian, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of Chicago now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room mm. talking Not to some to guy here. named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4x4. Four four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep, keep it slow, keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. Uh, what do you suppose the weight limit? Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. There we go. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? 
Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? All right, hang on tight. Oh, gee. shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <laughs> Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with you. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. There. That ought to do it. <coughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil is uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Well, whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Deeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? 
Just follow my lead. Let's go, gentlemen. It's going to be a hot, long day, and we have lots to do. Those great boys show their pretty faces. You all know what to do. Show them right.
was it? Yeah, they've done this fucked up yet. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. Try, little brother. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. <laughs> 